What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gaming Dude here. Welcome you back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger, Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we had a meeting about what was going on. We recovered. We figured things out. Did some things. Did some stuffs. And in this episode, we're going to continue on to Chapter 1. This really will be staying the foreseeable future. Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. Rattle, rattle, rattle. It's no use. It really is locked. Bzz. Bzz. Wrong. It's not locked. Holy crap. Jeez. Talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. What? Like some kind of a robot bear ghost. What are you even doing here? What? Mikado Nagie, this is a super duper ma majorly bad. So bad, so bad, it's not even magic. It's almost magical. Ultra magical. Awful, awful attack. Uh -huh. In a point of fact, I acknowledge that this bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. So wait, there's no reason it won't open because it... it so the reason it won't open is not because it's locked, it's because the door doesn't hey, fit. Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I am an expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyways, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that is what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So... You gotta just turn the doorknob, then lift up while yes, you pull. Indeed. Go ahead and give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door while I pull. It did, in fact. The door opened without a problem. <laughs> See, it opened right up. It not it crazy, though? Like, your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> You're supposed to be the ultimately lucky student, right? This doesn't look lucky at all. Bye. Anyways, if I don't... If I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore, bye! Wait. Damn it. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try and get some sleep. While still stumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. It was just I was utterly exhausted. It was as if I spent my entire day staring at a TV watching movies or some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed in the made-up fantastical world. Ah, oh, yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day of Hope Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. It wouldn't be so or too much to hope with that when I'd woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream. And this is kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be for the best. Any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind of teach would be a kind teacher. But when I think about it, what's coming up? Just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hopi Academy, and we strive to refine your I ideas. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, 
What should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from the here there together. She is my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With newfound determination, I left my room. And that's Mondo's room. There's a doorbell next door. I guess I should use that. Ding dong. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Um, Listen, I have a favor to ask. Um, okay, so you want to click the reaction timings as soon as you see it. Oh no. Um. Oh, there she is. Um, listen. Um. Just getting ready to head out, if that's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we can talk? Yeah, sure. Where are you yeah. headed? Um. Oh, um, I've been thinking there might be something around here that I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here, whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so just, uh, I, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well... Now that I think about it, that, was, that display in the case of the gym either had, either way, I had a, had a bunch of stuff maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym, let's go, again. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have an amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, well, let's go to the gym. For anyone who hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the school handbook. S it is as simple as map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. Depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Then again, good luck and have fun. Actually, I want to talk to Mondo here, if it lets me. That's not Mondo. Good morning, Wakoto. Good morning. Yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. And an energizing way to start the day. Now then, we should make sure both of us do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. That wouldn't shock me. Let me go ahead and see if there's any other people that are out and about right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. No Mr. Miyagi, Mrs. Maizono, where are those two off to? A man and a woman growing closer. Hey, what are you trying to say? Mm. Like when two people are stuck on in a hostage situation and over the course of the story they fall in love. There's really no way, other way to express it but to say I feel as if... how very poetic. Hey, um. Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, don't even have a clue. Oh, this is telling me where, like, people are, I think.
Well, it's easy, like, okay, this is interesting. Also, I thought it didn't it say that we could teleport? I swore it just said, hey, you have the ability to teleport now, but yet we still didn't have the ability to teleport. I hope you are well. Hope you two are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange. Is that okay? Given the circumstance and everything, you know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> Hmm, well, I'm off. Okay, bye. Hey, um. We should get going. Yeah. I'm slowly trying to figure out where things are. I know that there's people in the dining hall. <clears throat> what is this? <clears throat> Ah, okay, now that we're out of the end section, we can go to the gym. Got it. Cool. A lot of people over here. Pogo together with those other two. Quite a combination. What's your what, problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh, no. Just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. clear. Making it with the, those two people have who have muscles, where the, the, their brain should be, is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super mm. mean. Yesterday you were complaining about how nobody invited you, and the only reason, and that was the only reason I asked you to come mm. with us. I n n n never asked you to do that. S -s -s Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Mm. Jeez, I can't believe she ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well... Oh, yeah. Good point. They're like oil and water and oil. Anyway, it'd be weird if they d d did get along. If I talk to them, do they get the same thing? We have to find a way out of here no matter what. Um, um that's why we were... With Hina and Toko? However... Well... Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, uh, understandable. So Hina invited everybody. Cool. That's actually pretty critical information. I actually like that she gave that up. Here, here we go. We might be able to find something in here to protect myself with. Um, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. So pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating. Oh, that, geez, I barely touched that. All that gold. I've touched it, and that gold stuff is all over my hands. Well, you're right. Your hands are totally cold. Even if it's just for self defense, it seems a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, hey, I guess. Um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> yeah, but I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. <laughs> I don't see anything that I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'd protect you. <gasps> You'll, you'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. Even if I got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sika giggles and she says that that mysterious smile. I can tell that comes from the heart, but it makes me feel at, and it, it makes me feel at ease. When you look at her, honestly, I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for weapons then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more.
I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. Okay, that's what this entire thing is, okay. Um. Um. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I really don't know what to talk sorry. about. And I was the one who invited you to come with me to sorry. It's okay. I mean, it's not like there's nothing to talk about. Then we can just not talk, right? Huh? huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Mm. Stare off into space? But you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that. It's 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 not that it's boring. It's just, I... I've never totally, I've never really done it before. I've done a lot. I ha don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. So I, I, I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. I've got tons of time to, or tons of stuff to do every. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. <laughs> um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What is your dream? I'd love to hear it. I... I, my dream is I always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, so you know, my dad worked really late every night, and I was always h home alone. So as a kid, you know, I was really lonely. But it all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could just sing and <laughs> dance. But more than anything, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, it could, yeah, I could feel my loneliness melting away. So I decided I wanted to be that, to be someday. But what, that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually to fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it was really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept crashing or chasing your dreams, someday they'd have to come true. But to do that, you can't just take your eyes off your... You, you, can, you can't take your eyes off your dream for one second. Not even a second. Even if it was sometimes a bad, it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter um, what. In other words, if you lose focus for even a split second, you could get behind. You'll have to keep swimming against the current e without even taking time to breathe. That is the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really though? Is it not fun at all? Oh, no. Oh, no. You get the wrong idea. It's super what? fun. But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um. I enjoy every single day I wake up, get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way. But they mean all... They all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young. So they're like a family to me. And without them, I would have given up my long dream a long, long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? The dream dies. The wonderful days to come to the end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is, and she must be terrified of losing it. So for that reason, I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? You mean? Uh, um, what do you mean? Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed, which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out, and they're probably waiting for me. <laughs> and while I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, say I can. I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was for the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here, this way, the dream she puts so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine sorry. it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I, I kind of killed the mood, didn't I? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. 
Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So, okay. you want me to come make us something to eat? I might not look at it, but it, I might not look at it, but it's actually a pretty good cook. I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. How did it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask. Like some kind of neutral expression. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms, though. Or before returning to our rooms. I thought something really was going to happen. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here, so maybe I'll just look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. As you live out your school life here, you'll be able to give it free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend it, spend time with your fellow classmates and deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which could potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store, but come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness an intimate events and, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can open up new skills, which could prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk to your classmate, the time will pass, and when you're finished, you will automatically be returned into your room. At certain point, a certain amount of time passes, free time will come to an end, and the story will continue to progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep and skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but you, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story then, anyway, why don't you try out spending your free time with Miss Sayaka? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? How do I... How can I decide who to spend free time with? Yes, I do want to spend free time with somebody. What I gathered was the map tells me where people are located. So Sayaka and Toko are in their room. I know that the game is encouraging me to go to Sayaka. But I think I'm going to go on a different approach. Getting stuck here is like totally disgusting. I want to get out of here. Oh, am I not allowed? I must not be allowed. Yeah, okay, so it's it's making it's making me go to Sayaka first. Okay. I'm not mad, I just was expecting or not expecting that. Like I know the game outright said it. I guess I should press the doorbell. Um listen. You know, Makoto. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid.
I guess I should press the doorbell. What's your problem? What are you, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why do I have to go through all this? I didn't, I didn't do anything to deserve it. Okay, yeah, no, it is. It is forcing me into Sayaka. Whatever, it's fine. Are you going to try and cheer me Sorry. up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? Yes, definitely. What would you like to give her? I don't have any presents. Makoto, do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? But what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, I just... I guess I was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. But I'd just be completely why... lost. I hate that we're, we had to meet under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice. Kind of embarrassing at the same time, though. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me, too. <sighs> but really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile, smile softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. You're kind of strange, you know. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All throughout middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. Is it because you were like a celebrity? It's because you were like a celebrity and I couldn't go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um. Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I. I was looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But, but since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um, Do you remember during our first year of junior high, the huge bird that wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was like out, out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every one million years, and the bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It's so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped find you helped it find a way out. It was only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school and they made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but it's oh is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. Uh I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly, though, I was super impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just uh, once. Um, I never imagined this is how I'd get my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at the train station somewhere downtown, that'd be a, that'd make for a dram nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this I... weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find a way out, just like the crane you'll save you me. You see. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her. I'll do my best to keep my promise. I promise that. I'll make sure that it's more than just intuition. If there's nothing I can do, if there's something I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out like to be I right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it again. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad I feel that way. I felt that way. So that guy's report card has been up updated based off of your experience with her. You unlock the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Nighttime. Hmm. 
<clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow night I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear it. As my eyeballs began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it was almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can can't sense or can't share it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't stumble into this school the way I did, so I can't feel. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I can't match up. I just guess I have, that might explain my own frustrations. Ahem. So I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still a room for a little laughter. Seems our newest students are already filled up with despair, with still some hope to escape. <laughs> so, when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Pounding excitement! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is... Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Morning has come. What should I do today? Oh, it's free time already. Okay, cool. Well, I think what we should do first is save this episode right here. Thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. Um, keep up the content and everything for the series because honestly this has been a crazy series so far nothing cr too big has happened which is good but i think things are that's about to change in the next episode so we'll see you guys next time